sure that motherfucker is recording. What the fuck is up, people? Got a little bit of a malt liquor video for you today. March 13th, 2017. Did you see the JD Culture 45 did all the liquor? Did glass the 40 ounce container, which I will leave the label out for the direction of the video. Because, like Mr. Rainer says, label the fuck out. Did hot pickle the motherfucking sausages. Might get into one of them, might not. I don't know. Let me turn this fucking music down. Sitting here watching some fucking vidges. Decide what the fuck. I ain't made a video. I don't know. In a couple days. And it's gonna be like this for a while because got a lot of shit going on. Like I said before in the video, transitioning to a new position at work. It's on a new shift. You know, a lot of things to figure out, a lot of logistics to work out. Um, so, it's gonna be hit or miss from the rev for a while. Um, but yeah, Donald motherfucking Trump. You know what I'm saying? People are still, can't figure that shit out. Uh, watching Hoggy Deuce now. Seeing Druid Fluid's been putting up videos. You know, he's not my president, stuff like that. And fuck. You know, when Obama won, people felt the same way. Anytime somebody fucking wins, there's always the other half that's the fucking loser. You know, this time it's just a whole lot more of a shock to people. Because they thought fucking Hillary had had this shit paid for, had it sewn up. But, you know, like they say about football games and shit, on paper, looks like this team is going to win this thing. But, you got to get out there and fucking play the game, you know. So it came down to the fucking people getting out there, voting and shit, and uh, whatever. And to all the fucking people rioting and shit, it's fucking, it's pointless. Trump's not going to come out and go, oh, you know, looks like people are pissed off. Guess I'll just step down, you know, I'm going to concede to Hillary so that people will stop rioting. It ain't going to do shit. All these people are doing is tearing up shit in their own fucking areas, which they do it every fucking time like let's not go to another part of town and beat some shit up let's just walk around in our neighborhood and trash some fucking gas stations trash some of the fucking people's cars in our own fucking neighborhood and I seen somebody put a thing up on Facebook and it was funny because it said you know that the fucking people rioting aren't Republicans because they would have lost their jobs by now because it's been going on for like five days but you know the thing is, it's just a bunch of fucking young kids, you know, San Francisco, all the fucking kids walked out of school, you know, high schools and shit like that, none of them old enough to even fucking vote, you know, well, I got some of them, you know, 18 year olds, but shit, I mean, the streets were fucking flooded, this is how they're making their voice heard, yeah, make their voice heard, but it don't mean a fucking thing, you know, some people just gotta, you know, is it really a fucking protest against what's going on, or is it just let's do something, you know, let's, let's get famous for a few minutes, you know, and that's what I feel like it is, anyway, well, my fucking, what the fuck, sounds weird, don't it, I don't know, what the sounding weird, alright, well, look at this motherfucker going, Did not and will not wanted to make this video about just the whole election and Trump, but most of the videos I've watched the past two or three days have been about it in some way, shape, or form. And uh, it's something that's got to be addressed, got to be spoke about, you know. But eventually, everything will fucking settle down. Shit will go back to the way, you know. Shit will go back to the way it's supposed to be. I mean, we even have people in my area, not in my area, but I live in the uh, outskirts of Richmond, the capital of Virginia, and people at the University of Richmond and uh, VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University, went out like Wednesday, yeah, I think Wednesday night, and were, you know, walking all through the city, going through all the parks and shit, and, uh, you know, chanting and carrying signs, and then they went out onto Interstate 95 and blocked the southbound traffic. 
I mean, and the shit backed up for like five or six miles, man. And that's just some bullshit. Like, and this is the second time they did it, because they did it, I think, when the shit went down in Baltimore, where they acquitted the last officer or whatever in the killing of that guy that got killed in the back of the, um, or died in the back of the, um, armored truck or whatever. Uh, you know, in police trans in police custody being transported. Um, I can't think of his name, but they went out and blocked the traffic on 95. And 95, like if you if you live on the eastern seaboard of Virginia, you know what the fuck 95 is. It goes from fucking the very southern point of Florida all the way up to like fucking Maine, you know, and into Canada and shit. Like it's. It's like Route 66, but instead of running east to west, it's, you know, north to south on the eastern part of the country. And yeah, like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, these like 15 people of this large group decide, we're going to go sit in the middle of these fucking four lanes here on the southbound side of 95, Interstate 95 and hold all these people up that are trying to go to work, trying to come home from work, you know, going to the hospital, going to the doctor, going to going to wherever the fuck they could be going at that time of night. You know what I'm saying? It's a, you know, traveling from here to there, you know? And because we're not happy with who the president is, we are gonna block the fucking highway. Like, it's the stupidest shit. You know, I don't know how long it lasted. They ended up getting them off of there and 12 of them motherfuckers got arrested. I don't know what, you know, what they got charged with and shit like that. I don't know. But it's just stupid, you know, the shit's been going on across the country. And it's like, really, it, nothing's changing, you know? Like, they've been, like, today would be like the sixth or sixth day or whatever of these, this, like, protest movement. What has changed? Zero. Nothing. What is going to change? Nothing. You know what I'm saying? And Trump on 60 Minutes said something about, like, people need to just, you know, give it up, you know? But you ain't heard Obama or Hillary Clinton or any of them come out and say, hey, you know, this motherfucker is the president now. Chill on all this other shit, you know? <clears throat> they like it. They don't give a fuck. Shout out to some good fucking football yesterday. Holy fuck. Fucking Cowboys, hated them my entire life, but damn, that was some good football last night, you know? Them two teams, Pittsburgh, I mean, that would be a key, a good matchup for the fucking Super Bowl to see them two meet up again after some shit like that, because that was a good <laughs> motherfucking game. Um, what the fuck happened to Green Bay? I mean, they got blew the fuck out by the fucking Titans. And then the fucking, uh, what was it, the uh, fucking Chargers and the Dolphins was a good fucking game. Was it? Yeah, it was the Dolphins, yeah. I mean, it was some good fucking football. I fell asleep last night before the end of the fucking, um, Seahawks game, but I know the Seahawks won, but I don't know much about what all went down. So I can't really comment on that. <coughs> I don't know, man. I've had this cold since like fucking last Monday or Tuesday. You know, like, not really sinus pressure and shit like that, but just the fucking coughing and being all congested. But I finally, like, feel better, but I still got some congestion. I had to call out for two days last week. Um, well, I went in Wednesday, but I was like, man, I ain't gonna be worth shit, so I uh, went home early, and then Thursday I didn't go in at all. And then Friday I went in and just had kind of like a, you know, chill day. But I had some funny shit go down with it. I can't get into it, but it was, it was fucking hilarious. Going down to Orlando coming up. A little bit of a family vacation. Going to fucking Disney. Be the third time I've been there. I think we went when my, my oldest son was three, almost four. And then we went again when he was like five, and my youngest son was, you know, 
uh, six, seven months old. And now we're going back in. My oldest son is seven, and my youngest is uh, about three and a half. So the three-year-old is fucking pumped. You know, last time he couldn't remember shit, but now you know he watches fucking Disney and all that. So he's like, we're going to Mickey Mouse's house. So he's fucking excited about that. Last time we went, we fucking drove, and that's a 12 and a half hour fucking drive from here down to there. And it fucking sucked. First time we went, we flew. This time we're flying again. Thing is, my wife's flying down earlier in the week. She's got to be there for business, uh, for work. And then I'm flying down later in the week. And my dumbass agreed to flying down with the two kids <coughs> by myself, seven and three years old. But. I'm sure it'll work out. I'm just like, fuck. So <laughs> so they don't start, start fucking flipping out. My oldest son is slowing before my youngest son has it. But I don't think that, uh, I think once, you know, get up in there and shit, that'd be cool. Let's get into one of these motherfuckers. A firecracker, the original red hot pickled sausage. Two for a motherfucking dollar. Never let the motherfucker see you enjoy it, man. Cunt motherfucking Bowski would love to see some shit like this go into people's mouths. Don't give them the motherfucking satisfaction, folks. Currently watching some playback of a fucking video that I did for Dishonored 2, which is a fucking badass game. Fuck yes. Loved the first one. And I got my copy in the mail. The game came out Tuesday. I got my copy in the mail the Tuesday before. And I just finished the second playthrough of the game because you can play through as the character from the original Dishonored, or you can play through as the character, the girl character, the daughter of the original character. In this one, first playthrough I went as Corvo, the dude. Second one I went through as, what's her name, Emily? I believe it's Emily, I don't know. And I just have it playing right now, making sure there's no fucking hitches in the motherfucking giddy up. So I can finish editing it. It's from my Twitch stream. Oh man. Motherfucking Colt 45. Refreshing and delicious. As motherfucking always. Anybody know of any good fucking documentaries or fucking TV series on Netflix? Let me know. Like I said, I just finished up Luke Cage. Finished up a bunch of, you know, other shows and shit. And I was scrolling through yesterday while some football was on, and I was like, shit, man, I ain't having no luck. Because normally something will pop out, and it's like, ah, oh, I'll get into watching that, you know. Because sometimes I have downtime at work, and, you know, downtime around here before I go to work and shit like that. <coughs> and I can't just watch motherfucking MLBs all day. <coughs> so, I gotta find shit. So yeah, if you know of anything on fucking Netflix or Hulu or whatever that I'm overlooking, hook a brother up, man. Let me know. I like true crime shit. I like paranormal shit. Um, it's just I got tired of like Orange is the New Black. Um, some of them other ones that was on there. You know, I watched some good shit on there, but some of them ones just ain't hitting on shit no more for me. So yeah, like any like TV series or any like, especially like documentaries, I like fucking documentaries. This ain't no documentary. Oh, shout out to you ever seen fucking Blair Witch 2. 
a fucking sheriff. I think it was Craven. He was like, this ain't no documentary. That shit was funny. That was a creepy ass fucking movie. The first one, you know, the original Blair Witch was fucking creepy as shit, but then they come back with that fucking second shit that was like a movie. You know, it has some regular actors and shit in it, like that dude from uh, that one USA TV show. Psyched or whatever the fuck it was. Um, he was in it. That was just a trippy fucking movie. What? I mean, I guess that's fucking normal because it is a crazy shit. With that new one coming out, it's way fucked up. Yeah, shit, if any of you play fucking games, man, Dishonored 2 lives up to the fucking hype that Dishonored 1 left. It's a good fucking game. I'm just trying to see how far along I am in this because I've watched up to a certain point and I need to get to the part I haven't seen <coughs> to make sure I ain't no fucked up shit in it. Oh, I still got a ways. I don't know, man. Got a lot on the fucking plate, man. Just busy as fuck. Like I said, with work. My other fucking hobbies and shit. Clearly. And it's gonna be hit or miss for a couple weeks. Making the MLVs. I'll still be drinking them motherfucking monitors, but... I don't know about camming up all the time, making these fucking 25 minute masterpieces for you motherfuckers. <laughs> fucking. I might say some shit like, I will not make another motherfucking video until they get these motherfucking people off these fucking labels. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm still waiting for Trump to sign into action. <laughs> or he's gonna glass the motherfucking malts. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker needs to get Old English back in glass, Mickey's back in glass, Magnum back in glass. That's what I'm waiting on. Make America great again by glassing the motherfucking malts, man. Get that shit going. Let's do it. Let's go. Honestly. Like, what the fuck? And that'll calm all the fucking rioting down. People are still pissed off. Because they can't get their OE in glass, you know what I mean? Or Mickey's in glass. Let's fucking see it, man. Almost at the fucking swill. I can't call it yet. I don't know. Fucking cold, raining. This morning it was like 35 degrees. It is 43 degrees right now. I think the high is 50. Which that's fine with me, man. Like I've said before, I like the cold weather, but it's cold and rainy this morning. My dog just standing there looking at me like, man, what the fuck are you doing? In here with a mask on and your jacket on and your hood on. She's like, what the fuck's wrong with you, man? And I'm like, I don't know. I got hooked up into this motherfucking YTD, YTDC, MLDC bullshit. And it gets into your blood, man. It's just something you gotta do. I don't know, I got shit to do. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Get this motherfucker uploaded. Start working on this motherfucker over here. 
but shout out to everybody watching the videos. Shout out to the fucking subscribers, man. I think I'm up over about 180 right now. I've been making videos since like March, so it seems to be a pretty good number. Fuck yeah, because what? Oh, ain't that some bullshit right there? Live TV, folks. Live motherfucking TV. No, that's Will, but that's way below it. Anyway, I see Big Reggie is still making his way around the motherfucking country in his motherfucking RV. I seen a video where he was with Skagit. I don't know if this made it into a video that I uploaded it or didn't upload. But Reggie's fucking head looked about this motherfucking big in the video. To the point where I was like, damn, dude. How fucking big is this motherfucker's chicken nugget head? You know what I'm saying? Because it was like he was sitting there talking to that dude Skagit. And he made Skagit look like he had a fucking one of them shrunken heads like from a Beetlejuice movie, man. Because Reggie's head, all you see was like forehead and like beard. It was just everywhere. I was like, what the fuck? Like this dude is fucking, I don't know, it was weird. Anyway. Swill, 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 until we meet again. I don't know. Come on, look here. <clears throat> God, some of that went down the wrong fucking pipe. Mm. Did not register this label. None of dwarfs motherfucking foam. None of druids motherfucking fluid. Reverend Godless is the fuck out of here. Drink malt liquor, only malt liquor. And support the fucking president. Because that's what we all got to do to get along. To get this country back on track. Out.